All right, here it is, Star Citizen 3.23 PTU Wave 1. We're going to be checking out some cool stuff today. Really excited to show you my first impressions. I go over the new Moby Glass specifically, and a major highlight is the new star map and FPS map. That's pretty cool. We've got interaction menus and interacting in the world is all different. We're going to be showcasing that. We're going to be showcasing the new master modes with SCM speeds, nav QT mode. That's insane. We've got the new EVA 2.0, which I have to say, spoiler alert, blew my mind and is way, way better than the old system that changes the game. Anyway, buckle up. This is incredible. Um, it's a raw cut of my first impressions. Enjoy. Oh, <laughs> here we go. Oh man, I'm actually hyped show this, guys. Um, so, spoiler alert, I have already jumped in, but I, I will give you my first impressions, guys. The thing is, with Eva Carti, which is like a private testing group or whatever, I can't record and show you my initial reaction. But I assure you, <laughs> I will try and get it across. So look, when you go near objects, you now... Oh, hello. I didn't realize I was holding that. Let's just put that there lovely when you go near objects you now get this is interaction by the way the little keys and it's so good i can't honestly get enough of it it's a really nice user interface absolutely just love how it looks uh you even get it on like elevators and stuff which is kind of cool um ui wise so you can see i've got like a circular mini map there's a mini map now We'll get onto the star map in a minute, but yeah, in here, this is the item bank, by the way, which currently at this point isn't uh, online, but this is where you'll be able to get all your gear and stuff each time you spawn in. Um, you'll see, I don't have a helmet, and the reason why I knew that, by the way, if you want to see me customizing this character, uh, check out the connotation on the screen now. Um, the reason why I know that is because when you do put on a helmet by pressing Alt-H, I now have different UI, so bottom right hand corner I now have like my weapon on show, I've got my hydration looks different and my food looks different, the mini map is now a square, oh man it's a great time, but yeah man, the changes are something else, like it really, I said at the start of the video, the changes are really starting to paint a picture of like being a different game, like it's the same game but it's there's so much that's changed it's crazy like look at this for example you've got the old menu system here but if you hit this little button in the right hand corner this will bring up your new loadout which is actually freaking epic but yeah like little changes like that are just so cool right let's get the elevator noise so good. But yeah, you'll notice there's no map in the elevator. But if you watch the mini map when we open up the door here, it opens, <laughs> which is really cool. All right, let's go downstairs. Okay, the bit you've been waiting for, guys, the map. So if I hit F2, we load into the map here, and you get greeted with the phenomenal new star map, or it's called the Maps app now. Um, so we've got the location here. Look! I don't know if you caught that. The freaking trains from the train station are on here, which is kind of wild because it means it's like an actual real representation of what we're seeing, which is kind of crazy. I honestly have no idea how it works, but... Yeah, you've got the lobby here, which you'll see in a minute. You've got the Habs up there uh, that we were just in. So you zoom out here, and then you end up on Microtech, or you see new Bambridge there. Um, it seems like there was a lot of people talking in EVO about this being really hard to read. And I don't. I think it could be clearer, but it's way better than it was in EVO. In EVO, this was like blown out white. It looked like the... Um, reflection of the sun was just doing way too much and you literally could not read the text it's a lot better now you can read it um but this is the new star map and it looks clean 
Um, quality of life feature here, if you hover over something, you can actually see what is at that location. So uh, the Cry Astro uh, processing plant, which is a new uh, distribution center. You have landing, hangars, uh, vehicle services and freight elevators, which is really cool. A um, little bit of information, but if we zoom out here, we've got this really nice text. It just looks clean, man. Really like it. Obviously, you zoom out even more and you've got the whole of Stanton. Let's go to my favorite location here. Let's go. Oh, I accidentally clicked on uh, Korea 1. Let's go to Daymar, my favorite location in the game right now. You love to see it. It's pretty cool. Um, but the best thing about this Star Map update, I think for a lot of people, is one, um, you can actually um, <laughs> use it. <laughs> it's not broken. But also, you can search. Which is amazing. So I can search Brio's Breaker Yard, for example. Hit that. And it will literally lock you into what you're looking for. It's so good. Let's go to... I'm trying to think of somewhere else now. Um, Ghost Hollow. Zoom out of Crusade. Uh, Daymar. Go into... Oh, look. And then if I was in a ship, I can select set a route. Now, unfortunately, because I'm um, not in a ship, it's not going to let me set a route. But that, I think eventually you'll be able to. But that is really cool. And that is the star map. Um, I think to see more of it, I think I just need to play the game more and show you in a more usual, normal environment. But it's it's so much better. It is so much better. Anyway, let's get on. So, one thing. I don't know if this is for everyone or just a me issue. <laughs> like a skill issue or something. I've checked some settings. I can't fix this. It's kind of leaning off to the right here. Um, I don't know why that is. I can't figure out what I've done or what setting that is. It might be just a particular bug with this specific build. Don't know. But overall, this is your homepage. You got your health. Uh, you got contracts for your missions, notifications. You've got gravity, the atmosphere, which is pretty cool. So it tells you whether or not you can breathe where you are. I think that's what that means. You got your pressure, your temperature and your radiation, which is interesting. So this is, yeah, I, I'm interested to see what this is going to, because I don't think anywhere in the universe is, uh, has radiation at the moment. So that's kind of cool. You got your crime stat, your wanted level basically, and then your reputation for or what area you're in. And all of these also take you to their respective, like, main pages which is really cool so yeah anyway let's go back to health this is a little bit more information uh you got your gravity your fuel um so eva we'll get onto that a little bit later that is going to require fuel uh body temp all that good stuff and then you've got your conditions and what drugs you're currently on uh the comms page is currently identical to how it was it's not been updated yet so that's to come you've got the contracts page and i love this so you've got the tabs here. Looks really clean. I really like it. But look how it's like scrolling in a kind of... It's like... I don't know how to describe it, but it's not like a straight scroll. It's like curved. <laughs> it's freaking awesome. Also, read all. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, but yeah, so you can leave one open apparently and it will stay open, which is pretty cool. Offers, accepted, history and beacons. Um thing down here verified unverified if you're not familiar i'm pretty sure this is you could look at it as lawful and unlawful for the most part so that's something to keep in mind um but yeah i really like this page you've got the maps app which we showed you journal so anything that pops up on your screen will be here you've got your assets so it this is basically where everything is so if you've got a ship at a certain location it will show up here you've got your rep page i haven't got any reputation yet i haven't done anything so i have to stay tuned for that uh be sure to subscribe so you don't miss it you've got your basically your wallet this allows you to send money to people i assume which is cool landing services and your vehicles which is currently the same but overall really really like how this all looks i love the color scheme and the kind of uh, holographic effect i know not everyone's a huge fan of that but for me personally, I think this is great, but yeah, the star map, star of the show, for sure. Anyway, let's get on and uh, show the shop interaction, which is pretty darn cool. Ah, uh, that is the most satisfying set of sounds ever. 
Ding dong. I, I absolutely love that. Look, burritos ready to go. Beautiful. Massive beer fridge. A great stuff. Um, you can just buy stuff. Usually there's like a thing that pops up. I don't know whether they're changing that or it's meant to and it's a bug. Either way, I'm kind of happy with how it is right now anyway. Um, obviously, Hi. if you want to, uh, let me know if there's anything I can help you with. You can use the shop like you're used to seeing. I don't know if this is going to change, but either way, seems good at the, the moment. So, here we have Fleet Manager. To the, the C1, really popular ship. Everyone loves this thing. Um, I'm in two minds about it. I kind of wish it just had bigger feet. Like, I wish it stood off the ground a little more, you know? So yeah, we've even got the map that I was telling you guys about uh, inside the ship. And it's actually quite useful because theoretically, I suppose, you could, um, you know, see if someone was breaking into your ship because the doors would start opening if you weren't expecting that. It's going to be harder for people to sneak up on you, isn't it? So let's get in the ship here because, of course, we also have master modes. There's so much. It's literally ridiculous. Um... I do also want to test out the new EVA. I haven't done that yet, so let's go ahead and check that out. So at the moment, I believe I'm in SEM mode. So I've got guns and shields. So if I press B, I'm going to go into quantum navigation. So this is how I fly fast, as I understand it. Nav. Oh, okay. So you click the middle mouse and you have nav flight. Nav scan, nav quantum. Oh, uh, okay. Good to know. So, middle mouse wheel, guys. You can see it moving there. You've got nav scan, nav quantum, nav flight. That's what we want. Uh, we're also going to request exit. Oh, I just put it in landing gear mode. Dude, it slows you down when your landing gear's out. That is, I hit the wrong button, but I'm glad I did because when my landing gear comes out, See how the speed speed is drastically reduced there? To a max of 30. I really, really, really like that change. It means I don't have to use the speed limit to do it every time. That's awesome! Look at that. So you got your quantum travel thing popping up. So at the moment it's orange because I can't quantum travel. So it says we're in within atmosphere, so we need to get out of that. Being able to do nav quantum, nav flight, and nav scan is way better. So as soon as we get to 11k, that should allow me to quantum. There we go. You got the calibration being shown. Hit the quantum. There we go. So let me just, before we do anything, let's just go into quantum flight. See what our top speed is. Yeah. Okay, so in nav flight, here's the thing. In nav flight, you can go, in the C1 at least, um, 1,100. We go into SEM speed. It's going to pull our speed right down to like 300, minus 300. 200? Wow. But, now I can fire my weapons. So, you have, also I've got shields. So, you kind of come into this new system where, if you're going to have a fight with someone, it's going to be a much slower experience, um, flight experience. But, if you want to travel, you hit the button. And then as soon as that little bar loads up, you can get away. So, right now, my shields are going down. I can't, like, if I'm being chased, this is going to feel really scary. But there we go. And now I'm at full speed. I can boost as well. I, honestly, I really like the change. Anyway, right. So we've established how that works. I've got to say, I'll say it again. I really like that uh, nav mode variation. Really good. Anyway, let's test out this EVA. I'm really excited to check this out. This has been something of a pain point for this game for quite a while. So I'm excited to see what this feels like. It's going to be really weird. Um, oh, yes, I do have my helmet on. Good to know. It is also, you can tell you've got your helmet on because I've got the UI. If I didn't have my helmet on, it would look like this. You see how the icons change? 
There we go. Really cool. Now I can tell if I have a helmet. Anyway. Right. Here we go. EVA! Oh, it's so clean! Ah, it's so much better! Oh, this is good! Let's have a look what it looks like. Dude! Yes, let's go! Oh, I'm so happy right now. Oh, it's so good. Smashed it. Oh, he's putting his hands out. Is he going to grab? I think at some point you'll be able to, like, walk along the ship. Oh, he pushed along. Dude. All right. Now, this is the serious test. Going back into the ship. How many times have you tried to get into a ship and you face plant or something like that? So, let's see what happens here. <laughs> oh, man. I, I kind of already forgotten what it was like before. This is so good. Okay. Oh, so fantastic. Let's watch the animations. Yeah, smashed it, guys. Let's, let's turn around. Oh, that's wild. <laughs> that looks so good. Oh, and I've just realized. So I stopped. I'm not pressing forward anymore. Shoot, what the actual... So you have momentum? Shut the front door. Wow, that is so smooth. <laughs> no. <laughs> so because I'm not pressing forward. Oh, clean. Oh, interesting. So hang on. I want to see what that looks like in. All right, I'm not holding forward anymore. Okay. So I can turn around. Oh, no, it's my legs. Oh, I should have brought a gun with me. Oh, I feel dumb. I didn't bring a weapon with me. All right, hang on. So, if I'm turning around, and I don't suddenly want to go that way. Oh, that looks great. <laughs> yeah, okay. So, you kind of... So, for people that have played this game a lot, you need to remember you don't need to hold forward as much. Oh, it's honestly the way the character picks up their legs when they come close to the ship. Oh, it's so good. CIG. Let's go. <laughs> Guys, if you want to see how this dog got like this, uh, or copian, I should say, click the video commentation. It will take you to the video. Nice. I'll see you guys in a minute.